guys, how you doing? So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I decided to print a TIE fighter that I saw someone print across at the Any Cubic Photon group. And when I passed it through Chi2 box, everything looked great. But when it actually came out, there was a small imperfection and for some reason, the model wasn't jointed properly. And I needed to move ahead and decide how we were going to repair this. So this video is gonna show you my steps for you to go ahead and repair small imperfections in your resin print. It's really simple. All you need to do is take a little dropper, take some of the resin, actually apply it to where the imperfection is and hit it a blast of UV light. And it's as simple as that. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a dropper. Uh, you can see this little glass dropper here that I got from a medicine store. And I'm using this to pick up a small bit of resin from the vat. Uh, just make sure you do this in an area where it's not lighted and there's not a lot of UV radiation coming in. You don't want that UV light going into the vat. And once you pick up a little drop of it, you apply a small bit to your print. Just be careful you don't apply too much and also you want to use the capillary action of the resin to get into those small cracks. In this case the wing was not connected properly to the body for some reason so I am applying a little drop of resin in that small cavity between the wing and the body and once I put it in the UV light it's going to cure and it's going to be very very uh, solid. So let's take a walk out into the sunlight and you should see very quickly it's hardening and as soon as the light hits it, it gets almost solid because it's just a little bit of resin. And when I apply a little bit of force to the wing, it doesn't shake anymore, which is telling me that it has solidified and we no longer have an issue with this. I would say this has been successful. So there you have it guys, a very simple fix for small imperfections in your model. If you see there are small spaces, you want to have it filled in, you just use a small dropper and you're good to go. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll have a lot more videos coming up. Happy printing!